What's up everybody? Uh, Joe from JL Street Service here. Uh, just want to do a quick video here on um, our rescue system that we're applying when we climb. So that is having a rescue line in the tree at all times when we're when somebody is aloft climbing. Uh, there's different configurations you can use where it's it's canopy anchored or base anchored, um, even just a rope over a union, an isolated two legs of rope down to you. Um, that's even better, I think, than having um, no line in the tree. So what we're gonna do here, is it's gonna be a simulation of um, going up and getting a climber that is either A, um, unconscious, uh, they've been attacked by a swarm of bees and they're, you know, they're, aller they're um, allergic to it. Uh, any number of scenarios, major injury, whatever it could be. So. Um, this is just simulating what it would be like to go up and get somebody when you have a rescue line in the tree uh, which is what, something I think we should see a lot more of and um, people applying in the industry. I'll show you what's in the bag at the base anyway. So we got a knee ascender. If it's a high ascent, if it's 50 feet or so or something like that, 60 feet, 40 even, um, a knee ascender I think is vital. Uh, the ground guy that's going to be the rescuer will have a foot ascender on because I, I believe you can work and that doesn't affect drag and brush or anything like that. It just saves you that uh, extra bit of time to be uh, having to put one of these on. So, foot ascender on the rescuer, knee ascender available in the bag. harness here now there's a few things I've thrown on this harness that I think would be uh, beneficial to have in the event of a rescue so we've got some extra webbing slings we've got a knife uh, a couple beaners tether here to connect the rescuer to the rescuee um, some, there's many different things you can use here I mean I'm not uh, you know one way or another I just feel like you know the whole point of this is, is to you know save somebody's going through having to get a rescue having to throw a throw line up in the tree and get a rope up there um the amount of time it saves i think is leaps and bounds ahead of setting a rope so um i'm gonna put this back in here and we're gonna simulate a rescue and just uh just to show the difference in time Oh, and I forgot to match it so the tail of the line is in the bag with a system on it. Already tied, ready to go, to go rescue. We also have a uh, junior climber up there say amateur <laughs> um, he's my rescuee so again this is simulating what it would be like real time real life scenario we have a injured climber they've called down something's happened and we uh, we need to go up and get them I, uh, and the best way I think to try this to see if it applies to a lot of you know people that are against it or naysayers and that sort of thing I realize there's more rope in the tree and there's more rope management but anybody that's you know that's skilled enough to go up in the tree and take you know take a tree down rigging it down all the way to a 10 foot you know chunk of wood um, if you're experienced enough to do that safely I would think that anybody that you should be able to handle a little bit extra rope management for the you know in the event of a rescue so to that to that side of it or you can change your system there's many different ways you could make this work um, and still be able to work around it uh, pruning I think if you had a canopy anchor up top the same height as your tie-in point you could get it there and when you're done you just retrieval from the ground 
um, removals. It's a canopy anchor again with a short tail and either a delta um, malleon, a delta screw link, uh, where you can just take it apart, come down whatever couple feet, put it back on. It would work on a spar the same as your climbing line works. So again, just a couple other ways you can do it. But okay, Drew, so don't pull this rope, okay? I gotta come up and get you now. Okay. So now we're gonna simulate a rescue. Okay, we got an injury. Okay, uh, are you okay up there, Drew? Not hurt or nothing? Can't move though. Okay, so it's standard rescue. We'd have another ground staff. You know, call 911. Um, tell them we're at 6149 Guelph Street. Report back to me when you've heard back from them and you know they're coming with a uh, time. Now we're gonna commence in the rescue. Okay, tails out. Now, if it was real high rescue, you can fix the bottom of this to here, or your ground staff can, or somebody can hold it. So you can ascend quicker. So look it, my rope's already in the tree. If I was doing a rescue where I didn't have a rope in the tree right now, we'd be going to the truck, we'd be going to get a throw line. They still wouldn't be at the truck yet. Panic would ensue. Um, I don't think anybody wants to go through any of that stuff where you're running now. And now you're already in a rush and you're trying to get a rope in the tree or now maybe you're coming back with a throw line. Oh, get the rope, somebody get a rope, all that stuff. I think that like the rope's already in the tree. Okay. Oh, our rescuee is spinning around here. Okay, we got five minutes before EMS arrives. Good, thank you. So now, system's already on. So this is a lanyard over the shoulder deal will work for this. And I just have a regular foot ascender on. This would be fine in this scenario. Okay, I'm coming to get you. wants to get down that's all so at least there's no major injuries nothing to worry about that way situations here where whatever way you want to connect the climber to yourself those are all the same as any other rescue or whatever you prefer to do but my thinking is okay we're going to come down now turn you around here I'm get you on my legs yeah. ready there we go coming down to me, man. There. Okay, you want to come off? You stand up, put your feet down. Good job, bud. Okay, boom. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now. Oops, put this on there. So as you can see, none of that is perfect. Nothing ever goes perfectly uh, when you're doing a rescue or when you're in a rush or anything like that, but 
I think having the rope in the tree, you might not even have the rope in the tree yet in the, in the event of a real rescue where you're rushing and you're trying to throw a throw line and if it's a high up spot where they are, you need to get a high tie-in point. I think that you may still be trying to get a rope in right, even right now. So, um, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe. GoPro, stop recording.